Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can zoom a camera in and out with animation in a couple of different ways. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So, a camera zooming in and out can be beneficial to your game, say for example if you're creating a cutscene, or you just want to focus on something in particular. Who knows, it's your game. So there's going to be two different ways I'll show you in this, and you can use either or, or mix both together to create your own animations here. So generally, you'll have your camera and you'll want to create an animation. So let's click on the animation tab. And if you don't have that animation tab, click on the menu here, click on add tab and click animation right there. Next thing, click on create and let's call this zoom in one. When this has appeared, we just click on the record button and now we need to set our first keyframe. So here we could basically just type in what we already have because we're going to be doing this based on its position. So let's have the first position. So 19.06, next one 33.05 and then minus 152.16. So that's the first keyframe set right there. Next thing we need to do is determine, for example, how long we want the zoom in to take place. So let's say five seconds we're in 60 frames a second so that would be frame 300 great thing is we can now move the camera to where we want it to zoom into so let's just move it all the way to let's say here and let's press the record button once again and let's press play and we can see this zoom in when it eventually plays in this fantastic little scene it'll get there eventually so you can see the zoom in effect happening right there. And that in its simplest term is a way to zoom in. So you could use that. Obviously, zoom out would be the complete opposite of that. So your animation would be to zoom out. So you would move your camera backwards, obviously, hence the zoom out. So the other thing, the other way you could do it is in animation once again. If we click here and go on create new clip, have this as zoom in two again we set the first keyframe when we press record but the keyframe is not going to be used or changed anywhere here in position it's going to be done via field of view and like i said before you can mix and match these two ways of doing it to create a unique kind of animation for your zoom in so by default a camera is i think 60 so if we have 60 as our field of view and generally this is probably not the ultimate best way of creating a zoom in again all depends on your scenario of what you're creating but as i say combining these two methods will probably create something quite useful so if we have let's say 300 so five seconds again and then change your field of view if you change it down it will give a zoom in effect if you change it up it will have a zoom out effect so we could move this slider to see just how much we want to zoom in so let's have seven Press the record button again to stop. Because we've got two animations now, we need to double click on our camera right there. So it's the controller for it. Let's turn off zoom in one and turn it on zoom in two. So right click, set as default state, and then back to scene. Nothing's changed here, but when we press play, we should have that second zoom in effect play for us. And you'll be able to notice the difference of how it's zooming in when you see it in actual uh, motion. So you can see already how the zoom in is happening. So it looks different to how the other one looks. But once again, with this one, creating a zoom out is the exact same scenario. You just need to increase how it uh, looks. So for example, your field of view could go up to, I don't know, 100 or something. And you can see here in the camera view how it looks. Once again, that all depends on the scenario of how you're doing it. So you could theoretically combine the two, and I'm gonna quickly do that just to show you what kind of effect you can produce to zoom in. So back on animation, let's go here, create new clip, zoom in three, press record, and let's set that keyframe again, 19.06, 33.05, and minus one five two sixteen. Obviously, there are quicker ways of doing this. I'm just kind of glossing over because there's plenty of videos on uh, positions and all that stuff. Uh, so sixty again. So now let's combine those two 
over the course of 300 frames to create a zoom in effect. So I want to have my field of view reduce to let's say 30 maybe and also the position of my camera moved in to let's say about there and press the record button to stop. Let's go back to our controller and make zoom in three the default. Back to scene and let's press play and see how this looks. So remember this is a combination of those two mechanics to zoom in. Once it, there we go. So you can see both in action there, creating that zoom in effect. And I quite like combining the two because I think you can create a different kind of atmosphere using them. And to me, atmosphere is everything in a game. And once again, zoom out would be the exact same, just the complete opposite numbers that you would create. So guys, I hope that's helped. If you want to know any more, please leave a comment in uh, the section below and I'll try and get back to you with some more information. And yeah, uh, if you like this scene right here, I got it from the asset store and it is known as Sun Temple and it is free. So if you fancy having a look at this scene, playing around with it, head to the asset store, search Sun Temple and you'll be able to find it. Uh, just a heads up. I have no input in this, the creator didn't approach me. I like to pick scenes that I find in the asset store to use because basically I like them. So guys, hope that's helped and I will see you around. Thank you very much for watching.